uh, here's my first uh, attempt at uh, putting together this tutorial for rock and roll. Uh, I've been thinking about it since last week, and when I thought when I suggested it, I thought yeah, it sounds really easy. But uh, the more I've got into it, the more complex it's become to try and simplify it. So uh, here we go. See how we get on, and uh, hopefully some of you will pick it up and uh, and manage it. Um, so first of all, let's just talk about the basic rock and roll. It's basically three chords, and uh, the one that the three chord set that I'm going to use is C, F, and G. So it's C, F, and G. Um, and obviously, there's a certain rhythm to it. Um, whether my strum is absolutely accurate or not, I don't know. But uh, basically, if you think of uh, Chuck Berry or Status Quo, uh, it fits in quite well with both of those. So you've got uh, you know Status Quo. Oh, here we are, and here we are, and here we go. All aboard, and we're hitting the road. Here we go. Oh, rocking all over the world. Now, that last bit is quite important because obviously it adds an emphasis to the next verse. Um, that also fits in with um, uh, Chuck Berry. Deep down in Louisiana, close to New Orleans, way back in the woods upon the evergreens. see it's a certain rhythm uh, you can't just play it straight away it'll take some time to do you need to listen to some music listen to some strumming but um, they also work with um, a different types of sets of chords so along with C F and G you can also play D G and A so you know deep down in Louisiana close to New Orleans a D see there's you know there's three chords there so that's D G and A as I said I'm only showing you these but I shall concentrate on the first one uh, the next three is uh, G C and D which is uh, um, oh here we so, so oh here we are and here we are and here we go so that's G C and D that's another three chords and all of these work with all of the songs uh, and then finally uh, the sort of standard guitar shapes um, which is A, D and E7 and those three um, work again you know so deep down in Louisiana close to New Orleans oh I'll start that again <laughs> down in Louisiana close to New Orleans way back up in the wood and the evergreens to D there stood a log county made of earth and wood so there's three as there's four sets that you can play to the easiest one in my opinion is the first one but all the songs you if you can sing them in the C F and G you can transpose them all to C F and G so on all the chord um, sets that you have when you look up chords for any music um, they tend to come up with guitar chords, but they're all the same for ukulele as well. Um, but obviously for different people who've got different um, tonal ranges, you might want to choose different ones. But I'm only going to focus on the first one because that's difficult enough. <laughs> so you can see that C, F and G works pretty well. Uh, you don't have a problem with doing that. So you've got, uh, as I say, um, oh, here we are and here we are and here we go. So that's the C. All aboard and we're hitting the road. We can go G all over the sea. Yeah. Back to G. So that's the very simple. Now within that, those three chords, there are variations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the variations um, uh, of what you can play, which gives you that rocking bass uh, sound. Because what you want to hear is ultimately the rocking bass, which is the, the rolling bass. So dun, 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 That's what you want to hear. And you can do it, but it will take you practice. The fingering is quite important to get your fingers the right way around. So I'm going to start off with the C, 
And the simplest thing to do is you're going to play your ordinary C and you're going to put your second finger on the second fret on that bottom string. You can use whichever finger you like. I tend to use my middle finger, this one, my middle finger on the second fret bottom string because uh, the last um, progression requires that finger to be on there. Otherwise, you'll have trouble. So now you've got, oh, oh here we are, and here we are, and here we go. Yeah? Here we are, and here we are, and here we go. Yeah, so you're just going on and off and on and off and off. I'd rather on and off, on and off, on and off. Now you can either play it straight strum, or you can do it a little bit dotted. It's entirely up to you and, and different tunes have different systems there so that's the first variation which is to do that first yeah so that's just on and off so you're keeping a, a C with your either your third finger or I use my pinky all, all the time and then preferably your second finger on the second fret of the bottom string okay so that's the first variation so if we go to the F now which is, so that's the second one. All aboard and we hit the road. So you want the rocky bit there. So here, you're using your third finger and you're tucking it underneath your first finger. I'm just trying to get my fingers, there we are. Tuck your third finger underneath your second finger. So second finger in a normal F. So you've got a normal F shape. Bring that little finger underneath onto the second fret of the third string, which is in fact a D minor. So you play basically playing an F and D minor. So it should sound like that. So if you put the two together, you'll get your F. Back to the C. And then the G is a bit of a handful. But again, the G goes from G to what I call a pinky E minor, which is using your little finger. So you've got your normal G and an E minor. So yeah. So that's a, that's that's the G part of it. So if we go from the beginning, we've got a C with uh, the A minor shape at the bottom. D minor, C, D, E minor, D, E minor, D, E minor, D, E minor, C. Yeah? So that's the basic, simple, one note rolling bass. Well, obviously, when you listen to rock and roll, you hear the dun 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 dun, there's three notes. So there's the bass note, and there's another one. So on the C, you need a third note. So again, don't rush into this, but if you can do it, that's good. So on the C, you've got that one. You've got that second fret bottom string. And then bring your third finger on, third fret bottom string. That's the G string. So you've got that sound. Yeah. So when you're playing it, you can go, Oh, here we are, and here we are, and here we go. So that's the, that's the C. When we do the, um, the F part, we do the same thing. We do the F, we do a D minor, but then we stick our little finger on the third fret of the third string. So what you end up with is a little run of... So it should end up with... So what you should have with the two then is. Okay, so that's, they're, they're the easy chords. Now you get to your, your G and you've got to do a G, you've got to do an E minor 
and then you've got to slide up an extra one onto the fifth fret. So your notes that you're picking up for the C. For the F is. All on the third string. Back onto the C. And on the bottom string. And then your G. And then on the, on the third string you've got. Back to your G. So that should sound like Oh here we are and here we are and here we go All aboard and we're heading the road here we go Hocking all over the world Yeah? So, but don't do it all in one go. Just play one chord and if you want, just play your ordinary C. And if that's the easy one, start with that one. Yeah? And then leave your F as an F. And just do that. Do. And don't do anything on the G. And then just go back to your C. And build the other ones in as you go. So just do them a bit at a time. Okay? So that's, that's the basic progression. And that's enough. To get any rock and roll going if you want to take one little tiny step further it's the, it's the extra bit that i do uh, on the on the c chord and and this i would say once you've learned those all those other steps you could move on and maybe have a go at this and this is where you play uh, a two chord so you play a, a c you play a c with an f so it's a and then you play the third strings as in i'm just trying to show you here we are so top string uh, second fret, uh, second, so I'll start again, top string, third fret, second string, third fret, bottom string, third fret. So you've got a, you've got a, so you're basically going to an F, to those fingers there, and that's why it's important to use the correct finger, the second finger, on, the, on that second string so that when you slide up to the third and put this ring finger on the second string you've got that shape so and obviously when you play something like Sweet Caroline or Caroline by Status Quo they go Third fret, all those fingers on third fret. So it's now obviously your strumming is important, so there's a lot to develop there, and I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to talk about any of the other chords. So basically, you've got three progressions. You've got the simple play the chords. Yeah, you've got the chords with a single note. two notes there you go chaps